Do you ever have a burning sensation in your chest? Or you seem to be coughing for no reason? Maybe it keeps you up at night. You may be experiencing acid reflux. What acid reflux is, is the symptoms that are caused when acid from your stomach enter into the esophagus. So normally, the acid is prevented from going up into your esophagus and into your chest. In, in times when you, that are abnormal, the acid can enter, enter your esophagus and cause symptoms. Some symptoms include a burning feeling in the chest, hoarseness, sore throat, or an intermittent cough. If you think you might be experiencing acid reflux, tell your doctor. Most common way to diagnose acid reflux is based upon the, 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 the patient description of symptoms. So if it's a characteristic description and they're otherwise healthy and evidence of no other disease, they would be diagnosed as acid reflux. Someone with reflux symptoms should do lifestyle changes first prior to proceeding with medications. There are some easy and natural remedies that may reduce or eliminate your acid reflux. First, you'll need to change up your eating habits. We know reflux is triggered from having food and a distended stomach. And so if you overeat at night, you have a risk of reflux occurring. We know that the lower part of our esophagus that connects to the stomach normally relaxes. It intermittently relaxes. That is part of the mechanism of the esophagus and the stomach to release gas, to not cause bloating. If you have a full stomach and that mechanism relaxes, you now have the, a chance for food or acid to come up into your esophagus. So we recommend for patients who have symptoms at night to not have a meal two to three hours prior to bedtime. Another way to reduce symptoms at night? Change the way you sleep. Many patients find beneficial is if they raise the head of the bed at night, they have decreased nighttime reflux. And that would be done by putting uh, either bricks or wood blocks about seven to eight inches under the feet of the head of the bed, or there are a foam pillows that could be put under the mattress to keep the head of the bed elevated, and that can help with nighttime symptoms. Next, you'll want to adjust the types of foods you're eating. Dr. Sfera recommends eliminating fatty meals, carbonated beverages, drinks high in caffeine, like coffee, chocolate. You may have heard peppermint is good for GI upset. While that's true, it can aggravate your acid reflux. If you want to use peppermint to soothe an aching stomach, make sure to take it in capsule form so it bypasses your stomach for the small intestine, reducing the risk of acid reflux. You also need to make sure you avoid nicotine altogether and limit alcohol consumption. After you evaluate what you're putting into your body, it's time to keep track of it. You could be diligent in understanding your own symptoms, keeping a diary, when they happen during the day, how many days out of the week it happens, and is it associated with a particular food or a particular beverage? And, and if you can identify that, you would be able to you know, avoid those and then not, perhaps not require medication. Monitoring what you eat will also help you keep your weight down. Of lifestyle changes that we know are probably most important, one of the most important, is weight loss. So rapid weight gain or being overweight increases the chance of reflux. Acid reflux might be a pain, but the good news is a few lifestyle changes and constant communication with your doctor can make it manageable for most people. Kelly Bowman, CNN.